Hi everyone, I'm here at the Bible reading. I hope you're having a good day. Please keep the following people in prayer. Luke Boggs and his mom Bridget. Sherm, Rhonda Karshner, Cindy and Jim. Uh, Jimmy Myers, Dora Carper, Layla and her son, son of Mill, Ray and Donna Dunlap, Joyce Light, Judy Thompson, Dora Carper. You gotta get away from the fan. You gotta stand in front of the fan. Bonnie Jean, Bonnie Jean's dad, Bonnie Jean's sister in law, Lori. <laughs> Everybody loves the bubble. <laughs> Where was I at? Bonnie Jean's cat Misty that she returns home. Um, Elizabeth Jeffries and her grandson Dominic, Abby and Liam. Our, my youngest sister Melly, who has relapsed and is back on drugs again. Garnet Boyer and Norma Boyer. I have not heard about Norma yet. I checked and seen something, but I have not heard from the source that would know for sure so when I do I will let you know I'll try to do that tonight and let you know tomorrow oh my god it's like a sea of bubbles I feel like a child a child all over again where'd they go Today we'll be reading John chapter 8, verses 31 through 59, Psalm 112, and Proverbs 15, chapter 12, 13, and 14. It's like you're in a blizzard in the snow falling all over you, but it's bubbles. Okay. To the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants, and have never been slaves to anyone. How can you say that we shall be set free? Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, Everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now a slave has permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's descendants, yet you are looking for a way to kill me, because you have no room for my word. I am telling you what I have seen in my father's presence. And you are doing what you have heard your father doing. You have heard from your father. Now, who do you think their father is? Their earthly father? Or are they talking about the devil? Abraham is our father, they answered. Oh, my God. If you were Abraham's children, said Jesus, then you would do what Abraham did. As it is, you are looking for a way to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do such things. You are doing the works of your own father. Again, earthly father or the devil, what do you think? What's your answer? We are not illegitimate. Oh, sorry. We are not illegitimate children, they protested. The only father we have is God himself. Jesus said to them, mm -mm. If God were your father, you would love me, for I have come here from God. I have not come on my own. God sent me. Why is my language not clear to you? Because you are unable to hear what I say. You belong to your father, the devil. Their father is the devil. And you want to carry out your father's desires. He has a murderer. He was a murderer from the beginning. Yes, we're talking about Satan, Lucifer. Not holding to the truth. For there is no truth in him. 
he, when he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. See, people don't just say that. It's in the Bible. He is, the devil is the father of lies. Yet because I tell you the truth, you do not believe me. Can any of you prove me guilty of sin? If I am telling the truth, why don't you believe me? Whoever belongs to God, hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. The Jews answered him, Aren't we right in saying that you are a Samaritan and demon-possessed? Yeah, Jesus is demon-possessed by going around preaching God's word. That's how stupid they are. I am not possessed by a demon, said Jesus, but I honor my Father, and you dishonor me. I am not seeking glory for myself, but there is one who seeks it, and he is the judge. Very truly, I tell you, whoever obeys my word will never see death. And of course, they got really excited over this. At this they exclaimed, Now we know that you are demon-possessed. Abraham died, and so did the prophets. Yet you say that whoever obeys your word will never taste death? Are you greater than our father Abraham? Are you greater than our father Abraham? He died, and so did the prophets. Who do you think you are? This is what they said to Jesus. Imagine what they thought when they seen Jesus face to face after they died. At the right hand of God. And Jesus will say to them, I do not know you. And they'll be cast into hell for eternity. Could you imagine they would die all over again even though they were dead. When they go up there and see Jesus. Standing there like, mm -mm. remember me boys? Get in the elevator, you're going downstairs. Jesus replied, If I glorify myself, my glory means nothing. My Father, whom you claim as your God, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Jesus replied, If I glorify myself, my glory it means nothing. My Father, whom you claim as your God, is the one who glorifies me. Though you do not know him, I know him. If I said I did not, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him and obey his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced at the thought of seeing my day. He saw it and was glad. And you know he's going to be totally embarrassed. By the way, his children were treating the Son of God. Right? You are not yet 50 years old, they said to him. And you have seen Abraham? Very truly, I tell you, Jesus answered. Now this is really going to set them off. Jesus said, very truly, I tell you, Jesus answered. Before Abraham was born, I am. At this they picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus hid himself, slipping away from the temple ground. See, they were going to stone me. I knew once he said that. Because they tried to kill Jesus several times. They picked up stones to stone him. I don't know how many times. How many times they tried to arrest him. Alright. Psalm. No, no, no. Psalm 4. Psalm 112. Praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord who find great delight in his commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in their houses, and their righteousness endures forever. Even in darkness light dawns for the upright, for those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous. Good will will come to those who are generous and lend freely who conduct their affairs with justice. 
Surely the righteous will never be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear. In the end, they will look in triumph on their foes. They will have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their horn will be lifted high in honor. The wicked will see and be vexed. They will gnash their teeth and waste away. The longings of the wicked will come to nothing. And that was Psalm 112, short and sweet, right? We have three Proverbs today. Proverbs chapter 15, verses 12, 13, 14. Sorry, my hair is super curly today. It was a lot curlier than this. Now it's frizzy. It always does this when it's going to rain. I've got storms out here today. It's been raining all day. I don't know why it does this. It does it when I wash my hair. It does it when it's going to rain. I don't know why. Sorry about that. I need to find something for my frizzy hair. What I try has not worked. Okay, let's see. Proverbs 15, 12. Mockers resent correction, so they avoid the wise. I really like 14 today. Thank you, Will, as well. Proverbs 15, 13. A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. That one, too, that really hits home. A happy heart makes a cheerful face. But heartache crushes the spirit. I know heartache. I've had heartache that's so bad. It feels like your spirit and soul and everything's been crushed and there's no coming back from it. So I know how that feels. I'm sure some of you do as well. And the last one, which I, I really like this one, thank you will too, is Proverbs 15:14. The discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of a fool feeds from folly. The discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of a fool feeds on folly. The bad people will pay in the end, guys. If not on this earth, they will on the other side. People that are bad to you, that it just seems like they're so evil, but yet they're so happy here on the earth. They get everything they want. Well, this is whose world? The devil is the prince of this world. This is the devil's world. And that's why the devil's children are happy here. That's why they're happy. Because they're doing their father's work. So don't think bad guys will you see that or somebody's doing something bad to you because of, you know, in Jesus' name, um, they don't believe in Jesus, they don't believe in God, or, or they don't want to hear it, you know, they don't want to hear it when they die and then it'll be too late. So don't think they're not going to get punished for how, they, how the bad people treated us. The bad people will be punished. So... Try to remember that next time someone hurts you. All right, guys, that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your hearts. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus and God willing. Oh, sorry, it's been a long day. God willing. <sighs> we will see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless. Hope you like the bubbles.